Hello everyone, this is Hank Tongho. Today I'm back with a new video on R6, basically on how to configure your MFN button to, to help you do things better. So, as you know, the MFN button, uh, as the name suggests, when you press it, you have multi-function display that come up. You can set ISO, you can set drive mode, uh, servo versus uh, uh, so one shot, white balance, and flash exposure conversations. Those are the five default that it shows you. Okay, um, it first come up with the ISO. So you can set ISO by just doing the vertical button as it shows you. Okay, so that's a default. But um, we can use the MFN button for a lot of different things. Okay, that will help you further. Uh, especially today, I'm going to show you the example that I'm going to use MFN button so that I could change the exposure conversation while in manual mode with auto ISO. Because right now, there's no apparent way to to control that. It is possible to do it, but there's no button dedicated to do that yet until you configure it to do. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you uh, how to do all of that, okay? So uh, first of all, in order to reprogram the MFN button, um, what you want to do is go to the menu and you use the horizontal button in the back, uh, not in the back, but you know, on top, but toward the back. To um, to move around different tab, right? But what you really want to do is find the orange tab and then go to number three. So CFN three is the one, and go down to the third one there. It says customize buttons. That's what you want, and then you scroll down to the one called MFN dial function which is the default, okay? So you choose that. Now if you deviate and you go to the right, there's a dozens of, um, dozen of uh, choices that you can set. But once you set any of the choices there, you know, it's no longer a multi-function button. You'll do specifically one thing that you reprogram it to do. That's not what we want. We still want to use a multi-function, but we're going to change it by leaving it at dial function, don't want to change that, but rather you go uh, as the menu suggests, you press the info for detail setting. Okay, so you press info. Uh, what you will see right here is like the default five that the, the camera is already preset for you. So ISO, all of that, remember? So those five. Now, you notice there's a four more choices that you can choose there. Okay. So, first of all, I want the exposure compensation, right? But if I press set, nothing happened because it only allows you five. And you already, I mean, it already chosen five for you. So first, you have to disable one of them that you don't need, okay? So now, with one disable, you can go over here and enable that. Now you have five function, uh, one of which is the exposure conversation. So far, so good. But now let's think about what you really want to do. Now, this multi-function button, a lot of people don't use it for the reasons that there are just too many things. You can't possibly remember five things that you need to do. Okay, And like having to do five things is going to slow you way down. So you have to evaluate at this point whether or not you need a certain function or whether or not uh, you can change it elsewhere. Okay, so for me, uh, I don't even need ISO because I use the, the, the round dial to do ISO uh, already. So theoretically, I can just press the set button to turn it off. Now, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to leave the ISO on. Okay, but I'm going to disable the rest of it because I can do it elsewhere. I don't really need to do it here. Okay, so cleaner would be just one. Um, 
or 2. So in this example, I'm going to do 2. So I got ISO and exposed conversation when I press the info button, right? So now with that, you got to look at the instruction. Uh, to go to the next step, you got to press info, not the set, right? So you press info now, it will tell you sequence. It tells you that the, the next time you press the MFN button, the ISO is going to be show up first, being active, ready to be changed. Now you have to press another button, like a horizontal button, to change to expose conversation. In our example, we want to do exposure conversation as fast as we can. So we don't really want the sequence. We want to revert it, right? So just use a joystick, move it over there, and then press set, and you see the left arrow, right? And then you can just use the joystick and move that over there, okay? And then you press set for OK, okay? And then at this point, if you exit to the menu, it's not saving because it said press info for OK. So you got OK first by pressing info. So now you already program it. Now to, to get to the picture taking part of it, you just press the shutter button halfway. So you're back now, right? So now in this in scenario, I have manual mode. But auto ISO, and then if I decided that this picture is a little too bright, and I want to auto exp or, um, expose the conversation. So now with the MFN button program, all you have to do is press the MFN button and then crank the vertical left to do it just like that. Okay, just as quick as the, the control ring. Okay. Now, with any exposure conversation, as you know, the exposure conversation is kind of a weird thing because even if you turn off the power and turn it back on, it will still remember this. So what you really want to do is to make sure that you go back to zero once you're done with it. Okay? So that's all there is to it. Now, each time you press it, the the button, there's only two choices because those are the two that you need. So you can actually um, go, do very quickly here, um, multifunction button. So uh, with that, I thank you very much for your attention. Um, I would appreciate a like and or subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you very much.